Hi, my name is Michelle Ertl-Rosner, and I'm the parent of four kids, including one child who has some special needs, who's led us on a special journey. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today, um, a healthcare transition from a different perspective. This is my daughter, Julia. She is very medically complex. She's followed at the Complex Care Clinic at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. And we see a lot of different specialists there. Um, 10 or more. And so we're there fairly frequently. Um, Julia has some intellectual intellectual disabilities. She's non-mobile and non-verbal. And last year we had an experience that really put a little bit of a scare into us. Julia spent 27 days in the ICU um, fighting RSV, which is a common cold virus for most people, but it made Julia extremely sick. And this happened just before she turned 18 and we got ready to really start that transition into adulthood for her. So we spent the month of February in the hospital and then we came home and got prepared for Julia's 18th birthday. We've spent a lot of time creating Julia's healthcare transition path. On this journey, we've found that most transition resources are geared to young adults who are going to have some degree of independence. Um, and that's not our reality. We know that Julia is going to be living with us and dependent on us um, for the entirety of her life. Um, we've also recognized that this transition is hard. Any kind of change is difficult. And for us, this transition to adult health care has been challenging. The stakes are really high. We want to find a high quality, wonderful health care um, team for our daughter. And we love our pediatric team. We've been through a lot of challenges with them. And it's really challenging to um, say goodbye and move on. But we are actually quite lucky to be facing this challenge. Um, Julia is a warrior princess and we feel that the great pediatric care she's gotten throughout her life has made it possible for her to get to this point and to reach that milestone of adulthood. I'd like to share a little bit about some lessons we've learned about creating a great foundation for Julia's transition. Um, one of the first things we faced is how were we gonna choose a healthcare system? So we looked at things including insurance, where, where would our insurance be accepted? And we had to make decisions like, did we wanna find the best specialists that were across multiple systems? Or did we wanna have all of her providers in one place so we could really have continuity of care? Um, we also need to make decisions about whether or not this would be a complete transition. So were we gonna move all of her specialists to the adult world or were, were we gonna hang on to some of those pediatric specialists that we'd um, grown so close to over the years? And then one of the biggest challenges early on was finding a primary care doctor. We looked for a med peds doctor. That's someone who specializes in both um, internal medicine and pediatrics. So they have experience in both that adult and children's side of things. Um, and that was a challenge for us to find someone that was a great fit for us and for Julia's healthcare needs. But we knew that person would be our team leader. And so we, we were patient and we looked around and we found a great fit for our team. And what we've learned along the way is that we really can't recreate the pediatric model in the, health, in the adult healthcare system. Adult healthcare is very different than the pediatric side. So we're working to rebuild her team on the adult side in a way that best meets her needs. Here are some things that we'd like you to know as educators. Um, one thing is that not all students are going to have goals around uh, employment or independent living after high school. And so we've spent a lot of time thinking about what does Julia's educational experience look like during the ages of 18 to 21. We're not preparing for her to get a job or in live independently, but we have some goals that really are going to carry us through once she reaches that um, age 21 milestone so that we are self-sufficient without the services that the school system has brought us to this time, to this point. Um, we'd also like you to know that healthcare transition is complex. Um, it's a very challenging uh, obstacle. It's time consumes, it's consuming, and it can certainly cause a lot of anxiety for families. The other thing that we think that educators can help us with is getting um, those adult healthcare providers up to speed and getting them to know Julia quickly. We've spent a lot of time on the pediatric side developing relationships and Julia's medical team knows her really, really well. And now we're faced with the challenge of bringing that adult team up to speed as well. And we think that our educational team has helped get to know Julia over the years as well. And it's helpful for them to give us tips on how we can transition that information and not just medical records, over to that adult team. 
At the end of the whole um, kind of biggest lesson learned is that our journey is different, but in the end, our goal is the same. We want all of our kids um, to be happy and healthy. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about our family's journey and the lessons we've learned along the way, we've started a website that's called Different Kind of Special, and we'd invite you to check it out and learn a little bit more about us and our journey. Thank you.